It's 8 a.m. and I'm in the conservatory with my friend. She's playing next door. I woke up on 6.30 and I'm sleepy, but we have a job to do. I'm going to practice for 12 hours today. They have my reason. I don't play 10 to 12 hours every day. No, I don't do that. I play 5 to 6 hours on average, but it depends on upcoming events. Whenever a pianist has to participate in really important competition, a really hard one, whenever it has like three or four stages, then they might need to play 10 or more hours. And there's another reason why you should probably want to. It's very therapeutic. It's like reminiscing about time in your childhood when all you did was play with toys and uh, played some games all day long and couldn't care less about civilization and it has huge effect on artists adult life because that was time when you learned how to be creative so if you're struggling and having energy that you don't know where to spend and you know that you want to do something great i, th I suppose you need to experience this kind of intimacy with music it doesn't work with everybody like some people don't can't have pleasure in playing all day long but some people do so i guess if you try this you might end up really happy at the end of the day. I'll show you this little method that helps me to memorize so much faster. You're going to need 10 pencils. All I do is play first bar 10 times and each time I put one pencil away because it makes counting easier. Or you can play it 20 or more times, it depends on how desperate you are. Next, play second bar 10 times also and then put these two bars together and play it 10 times. Play third bar 10 times next and lastly, play these three bars together 10 times again. And you have to continue doing this until the last bar. But you need to turn on your metronome and play everything very carefully and slowly. At times like these, I like to deactivate all of my social accounts to have an actual rest on breaks instead of just scrolling. This other technique I'm about to show you helps me to understand the musical text more deeply. You just have to pretend to play the piano on the table, imagining the keyboard in your head. It helps you to find weak parts that need more work because it forces your brain to work more vividly. You can either put the music sheets in front of you or check how well you remember everything without. Or put your headphones on and just play along. Michelangeli shared a taste for the solitary with the Canadian pianist Glenn Gould, who gave up public performance in his early 30s and retired to his lakeside retreat where he could think, compose and indulge his passion for Bach. He didn't fit uh, at all. Uh, he was a kind of enfant terrible, one of the most influential artists of our time.
my favorite way to motivate myself through these turbulent times is to listen to the greats because player is the first listener so in order to play we have to listen first i have gained no less by just listening to these historical performances than by only playing so i'm here in the library to get inspired by my dearest old recordings they always have that like background noise uh, like scrunches which makes it even more intimate that i feel like i'm also in the audience like standing next to the piano i think Corto uh, looked for the opium in music you know he looked for anything that was extraordinary he always looked for something not sickly but something abnormal something totally removed from reality and from anything that distinctly could even be construed to be smelling of normality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.